just want to say thank you, Brother Bud, for that because the word of the Lord comes Thursday about the worship team and all the worship leaders can't sing. We all have an issue with our voice. We've all been sick ever since, so Savani can barely talk and talk. we've just been, we can barely breathe and sing at the same time. But I think, I, I think that that's the key to say, just worship just worship doesn't matter what the chords are it doesn't matter what the song is will shake and the earth will move cause at the sound of our praise the heavens will shake and the earth will move at the sound of our praise heaven will shake and the earth will move 
Is that the sound of our praise? The heavens will shake and the earth will move. At the sound of our praise, the heavens will shake and the earth will move. At the sound of our praise, the heavens will shake and the earth will move. Yes, at the sound of our praise, the heavens will shake and the earth. Beautiful, beautiful, in every way you are 
wonderful, wonderful, that's what you are to me, Jesus. There's no way I could ever describe you, and nobody could ever compare. I can't stop thinking about you, Jesus. Cause you can search the world for something that's greater. You keep on looking cause you'll never find a love like this So I can never explain it anymore So I'm gonna see that you're beautiful, beautiful That's what you are, you are beautiful, beautiful In every way you are wonderful, wonderful That's what you are to me, Jesus, Jesus Yeah, you're beautiful, beautiful That's what you are to me Beautiful in every way you are wonderful, wonderful, that's what you are to me, Jesus, Jesus. There's no way I could ever describe you. Nobody could ever compare I can't stop thinking about you Jesus, Jesus, Jesus Cause you can search your world for something that's greater You keep on looking cause you'll never find a love like this I can never explain it, no So I'm gonna sing that you're beautiful, beautiful That's what you are to me, beautiful in every way you are wonderful, wonderful That's what you are to me, Jesus Beautiful, beautiful That's what you are to me, beautiful, beautiful In every way you are wonderful, wonderful That's what you are to me, Jesus, Jesus That's what you are to me, beautiful, beautiful in every way. You are wonderful, wonderful. That's what you are to me, Jesus, Jesus. Yeah, you're beautiful, beautiful. That's what you are to me, beautiful, beautiful in every way. You are wonderful, wonderful. That's what you are to me, Jesus, Jesus. There's no way I could ever describe you And nobody could ever compare I can't stop thinking about you, Jesus Cause you can search the world for something that's greater Keep on looking cause you'll never find a love like this So I can never explain it oh, oh. So I'm gonna sing that I'm beautiful that's what you are to me, beautiful, beautiful in every way. You are wonderful, wonderful. That's what you are to me, Jesus. Yeah, you're beautiful, beautiful. That's what you are to me, beautiful, beautiful in every way. You are wonderful, wonderful. That's what you are to me, Jesus.
we were just singing God actually before we sang the first song God just started speaking he just kept speaking and I'm not good at quoting scripture but what I heard and I was that he who overcomes that God grants him to sit on his throne and he had me just look around and he said that every single one here is an overcomer And we were singing this song just now, just as it was spoken before, um, about the uniqueness the pastor had shared and the sister Fran about 
how no one can replace each other. It wasn't so much that, but I was reminded of that, but it's, it was that God places everybody in the body as it pleases him. No one's here by mistake. And every joint supplies. So I just want you to be encouraged with that. kept hearing the shofar and in the spirit Lord is telling me each one of us is that trumpet to open your mouths release what he's got Lord also is showing me about standing I had to go through a lot in the physical to get where I'm standing right now but in the spiritual aspect, it's standing knowing. You're standing in the victory that Jesus died on the cross for. Know who you are. Stand. There's a spiritual warfare going on. If you were here and you heard it, if you had ears to hear it, the warfare is through the worship. In this house, it's through the worship. Granted, I know you can worship without opening your mouth at times and whatever, but the Lord was, maybe it was just for me, but I don't think so. He was showing the trumpet to give a shout. The Judah goes first. And that it shakes. It has been said it has shaken things. This particular house and the word and the, and, and the, and the purpose that it has in worship Very quickly, I want, I'm going to read this. This is Mark 6, I believe. Yep. <clears throat> and the, um, the apostles gathered themselves together unto Jesus and told him all things, both what they had done and what they had taught. And he said unto them, Come ye yourselves apart into a desert place <clears throat> and rest a while. For there were many coming and going, and they had no leisure so much as to eat. And they departed into a desert place by ship privately. And the people saw them departing, and many knew him, and ran on foot there out of all the cities, and out went them, and came together unto him. They found him. And Jesus, when he came out, saw much people. And was moved with compassion towards compassion towards them, because they were as sheep not having a shepherd. And he began to teach them many things. Now, I this is just this just me. I'm I'm one of you guys. What Brother Bud said in the beginning, and um, you can get mad at me if you want, but that's what the Lord wants. We're, we're, we're in a time in a season right now where, go ahead, we, we become like a sheep without a shepherd because we're not going to the right place to eat. There's a set man over this house. There's a set leadership over this house. There's a way that God would desire to speak to this house through the leadership of this house, not because they're better than us, but because the Lord has appointed them. They might not always be the best speakers. Now, you learn some of this the hard way, but you could also be an obedient son and understand that the Lord works a certain way. There are many gifts in this place. There are people here that are unbelievable. I mean, have keen prophetic, keen 
insight, compassion, everything. But we are coming at a time where now is the most, it's most paramount to get in line with what God is saying. And the way you're going to hear what God is saying is listen to the set man, to the appointed leadership of the house. If you want to get to where Jesus is teaching, that goes for me, that goes for everybody. I used to come to this church when I was when I was a little bit younger, and I used to be like, my God, you got to listen in this church. You remember that, Brother Bud. And then I got real smart. I got I got to be a Galatian. I got my I got a little got a little game. I got a little spiritual game. I got a little understanding. I got you know the Lord begins to pour into your heart because that's what we are. We're the body of Christ. You get an understanding. You get you get, you get filled with the Holy Ghost and understanding and spiritual um, portion. He divvies it up. And then convicted me a couple of months ago. He said, "Do you remember what you used to say?" And sitting over there in that chair, I'm like, yeah. But, but Lord, we've heard all these stories so many times, man. It's like, you know, we all heard pastor. We hear pastor, we hear papa, especially if you're a Fraser. Just saying. What, I'm, what the Lord taught, what the Lord said, and, and there's a lot of spirits that are going around. That's what they see. Okay? That's what they see. They see Fraser pastor. And what we've forgotten is, here you go, Damien. You foolish Galatians, having begun in the spirit, you're trying to figure it out in the flesh. And if you're trying to do that, all you're going to be is somebody. See, we know where to go. We know we need Jesus. But we got to get there. We got to we got to we got to let him talk to us. And the way he's going to talk to us is the way he is going to talk to us. He set leadership over this house. We all have word. We all have compassion. We all have the Spirit of God flowing out of us. But what he wants now more than ever, and this is probably prophetic, and it can go on record, what he wants more than anything in this hour is for us to sit down and listen to the Spirit of God and the man of God with our spiritual ears and allow the Lord Jesus to pour in to us what the Lord Jesus himself wants in this hour. So I, I'm just here. I mean, I don't know. I don't mean to be mean or corrective or anything like that. I'm speaking from the heart. This goes for all of us. The heart is going to be the hardest for the family. I'm telling you, it's going to be the hardest for those that know pastor the closest, that know brother bud the closest to really listen with that kind of an attitude. But, but if we want to get to where Jesus is teaching and the things that he wants to pour into us, we're going to get to that place. And what Brother Bud set the tone, and I know Brother Bud, you guys know, I'm just telling you, I'm just sharing my heart. <clears throat> you know, Brother Bud comes up here and talks real slow, you know, and you try to, <clears throat> and sometimes you try not to fall asleep, but that man pours out gold every time he's out here. And what you got, and, and it's not an exciting word, but he's always pouring from the heart because that's how his, because the Lord has dealt that way with us. He had something to say. And when we're smart and we're passionate like young, young bucks out there and we're ready to go out there and, and, and shoot off arrows that are full of the word, we, 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 we go by that. We, we bypass that because it feels different. It feels like we got something going on. And you know, we, the worst case scenario on that is you end up that, gen, that, that, that anxious general that was for David. They went after Abner. I forgot his name. He said, don't you come after me. I don't want to kill you. He's like, no, I'm going to go do this because I, and you know what? And, he, and it cost him his life because he went out of the, lead, out of the order in the, and he was a great warrior. Let's not end up like that. It's, it's hard to submit to the spirit. You know, brother, brother Bud is not a preacher like David Wilkerson was where, oh, got to listen. Okay. So I'm just pouring my heart out. If we want to hear the Lord in this hour, he's looking for what Brother Bud was talking about. We got to worship right now. Whatever way that is, you got to clean, clean. Let's clean out our hearts 
and our thoughts. And I'm sorry to even take this time. I'm just telling you. I'm telling you. I am not, I'm not wrong about this. That's, what we're, that's where we're at. Get mad at me if you want. But we're going to need to allow the Lord to really sit on our heart. And let the worship pour out.
mindset. God's not breaking through to your world. You're breaking through into God's world. You know, so many of us are waiting. We want a touch from God. Oh, God, touch me. Come on down, touch me. He's already touched you, or you wouldn't be here. What he wants is for us to touch him. When Brother Singh gave that word the other night, my God, he said we're to break through the atmosphere. We sang a song after that, and I kind of think we were a little opposite of what he said, because it was a song about welcoming the Holy Spirit and having him break through the atmosphere. No, the, welcome, the Holy Spirit is saying, welcome to us as we break through his atmosphere, as we break through the heavenlies. That's what God's wanting. He's wanting us to break through the heavenlies. He's not coming down here to break through. He's already done it. Get that up here. It's about time for us to put away our inhibitions, put away our shyness when we're in the presence of the Lord and just worship Him. Be clamorously foolish. See, I was standing up here, I was looking, I was seeing who was statues and who was worshiping. So now I know who the statues are. And I'm going to pray God breaks your porcelain. And He makes you clamorously foolish. Because that's what we need to be before Him. You remember David? Amen? I'd like to see somebody go out there, put an ephod on, and come running out here with just a loincloth. You guys would freak out. But if it was really worshiping the Lord with all his heart, all his strength, and all his mind, come on. We're going to take, t- take the deacons and take them and haul them out the door? If it's truly God? See, we need our mindsets changed. Amen. God's calling us to a greater reality of who he is. I don't know why I went here today. This isn't anything to do with my message. Nick was getting in my message when he was talking about rest. Amen. 
Thank you, worship team. Even though you